feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Hey everyone, welcome to my another episode on the P. Diddy files. Uh, we are doing a bit of a crossover. I've had a, a request on this one and I've had a request on Anne Hatch as well. So uh, follow me over uh, for the Wednesday to Crime Tarot for Anne. And today, tonight, we are doing Alan. And the reason why we're doing Alan, oh, uh, <laughs> okay, interesting. The reason why we're doing Alan is darkness and outage. Mm, exactly. I think we've got someone that's um, in the purple circle, and even if we just do Montecito, I like melodrama Cito, as I'd like to say it, which is borrowed from another Australian large YouTuber. Um, I would, I would probably put this one in one of the top of the list, and um, of course, in the purple circle, uh, related to PD, uh, there's Oprah as well, who is on my list. Um, there's also quite a few other celebrities as well, but uh, just to I'll put down in the drop down. Sorry, I'll put up in the drop down if that is English. Um, what I mean by purple circle, and uh, ironically, of course, we are t talking about um, yeah, elite groups and and so forth, and yeah. And bullying as well. So uh, this one card, we are finding out what does, because um, we have the prediction deck here, what does the future hold for Ellen? Ellen DeGeneres. What does the future hold for Ellen? Now, we know she's been cancelled and apparently she's still signed up somehow with Netflix. And after that, we don't know. We also know that there's many, 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 many photos of her involved in the pd um she is close friends i mean her email uh sorry uh, one of her boasts for her um for his birthday it's just um ew <laughs> you know what can i say what can i say there's also in one of the interviews as well yeah there's a lot of illusion collusion whatever so anyway we're on the Diddy Files and we are asking the cards what is in store. That one wants to be read. I'm not going to cut it because they have been talkative. I'm not too sure if they like the idea of just once a week. But anyway, all right, strategic planning. Heavy floods, rain. Okay. Public life, burnout. Energy weapon. And a business tycoon. Well, yeah, that's that's exactly what she she was and probably still is. I think these people, they never stop. They never stop. It doesn't matter whether they're cancelled or not. This public life burnout definitely is what happened to her. Uh, she's probably had some sort of uh, energy burst over this cancellation and she's still pursuing what she does best allegedly entertainment purposes only when it comes to um business um heavy rain and floods that's uh, to me i get that as extremely emotion emotional i think she possibly had a little bit of a a breakdown because um of her her what she thought was probably a well uh, played out strategic you know lifetime um basically yeah exploded this, this uh, interesting you know that it's like poisonous mushrooms or toadstools isn't it coming through here some sort of toadstool some sort of yeah poison allegedly entertainment purposes only trains or transport sighting disclosed and support role. I do think that she supported Diddy. I do. I hundred percent throw in allegedly, but I do I do think that she supported. She definitely supported him. Uh, the you know the pictures that that and it goes on forever. 
um, like I said, the pictures with the side end disclosed and everything like that. There are cameras out there, possibly with things that she doesn't like. I'm a bit worried, sorry, that that's my dog. I'm a bit worried about the uh, transport side of things. Um, uh, let's just, yeah, we're getting lights flickering too here. So let's just say that's dark. Okay, let's just say this this transport of young people, it's it's dark and the lights are still flickering. So yeah, heavy heavy burdens and course manipulate. Mm. Well, I would say there's a lot of manip and ma a lot of manipulation. Sorry, just one moment. I've got to let the dog out. Oh, so sorry about that. <sighs> I don't think even the dog like that. I mean, there was energies around the flickering. Could have been the dog wanting to get out. I know he gets um, a little bit disturbed. He was a rescue pup and he's been around me basically on my lap and everything with channeling. So uh, he does feel energies as well through his recovery. He actually did feel energy so one has to wonder what kind of dark reading we've got happening here um there are heavy burdens and uh some sort of manipulation happening here experiment or test and rescued and revived this is this is what i think this is what i think happened when it comes to her recreating herself and I think we're seeing this a lot in the this one's wife as well, not crossing over on the files there and not wanting to bring her in, but we are talking about the purple circle of that area that's related to the Diddy files. We, we will see them. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter with these guys about their ego because, sadly, narcissists, allegedly entertainment purposes only, don't see don't see or don't want to look or don't know how to look or or can't can't understand what's happened you know if it's not all good and it's not all drama behind them then they just yeah dust themselves off and and keep going uh they they don't understand the concept of no or rejection they can't process it and I really do think this is uh, some sort of test to see exactly um, how, can we say, staunch she's going to be because of the world crumbling. I think we won't know until some sort of uh, distraction, here we go, distraction and an illusion when it comes to, you know, being listed. So the, the celebrity list that, you know, <laughs> We're being threatened or we're being advised that we're going to find out. I think they're going to withhold certain names and it wouldn't surprise me. I would say that's probably politicians. So I'm going to just wait and see what's going to happen with that with, that, with these uh, playlists. But when it comes to this one and being asked and just recently everything that did pop up about what she she said on one of her birthday notices, ew, what can I say? All right, innocent and truthful. See, unexpected result, someone that's not very, very happy about that as well, actually angry. The, the look in her face of the unexpected result is just basically come out where, where you know, if, if looks could, yeah, Starts with a K and, I, and sounds like ill, right? Um, this is the kind of person that she is, sadly. I think it has been proven. Um, there's there's fake news. Uh, some sort of fake news is going to come out uh, because of being in the purple circle with a lot of contra uh, contacts. Things could start circling. There could be manipulation because we saw the manipulation come through. They could also be testing the waters uh, between each other because, let's put it this way, she's not the only one in the purple circle, right? That's allegedly entertainment 
purposes has been leaked that she has been involved despite the fact there's there's many 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 pictures out many pictures not just of her but the other one of her neighbors uh, oprah yeah so innocent and truthful i can't help think but both of her partners have been blonde and this is where we're going one is an australian that she's with now and this is where we're we're going and we're going to head down on the true crime tower on that one. Um, I'm not going to go into the kind of relationship she's in now, but I'm sure whatever the cards will tell us about Hench, we would definitely see an ongoing pattern because this is the kind of person that uh, the energies I'm getting from these cards, it's basically rinse and repeat okay you have um a tsunami you've got rising water you've got full of emotions i feel that this person is highly strong highly highly strong probably worse than her neighbor okay um extremely highly strong this one um let's just keep going foreign occupation Oh dear. Mainstream news. Controlled narrative. There we go. Uh, exactly. Future time and urgent act now. She actually needs to probably start. I think they're all just waiting, right? The whole lot's just waiting to see who's going who's going to be on the on the list that's for reported who ha is going to get summons to court who's who's going to have to testify whatever um she is trying to control what little narrative that she can do i don't think uh in the future i think um time will prevail so to speak i don't think it's going to help her at the moment uh to me i can see this whole world in in her mind this is uh, a shape of the world but uh, also her mind, it's, it, it's like it's leaking. The emotions are leaking. I, I feel I don't know what her birthday is. I don't. Well, these aren't the kind of people that I want to research on. Um, never been a fan anyway. So, you know, um, you've got a lot of mainstream media here coming in just in the last week as well. This, this, foreign, this foreign occupation... I have to wonder if, you know, define foreign, like how foreign are, are we talking about? She is a US citizen, right? And so, you know, that could be anything from Mexican to, you know, UK, Canada. It can be anything. Uh, maybe she's teamed up. Maybe this, this business ty tycoon here because this is the kind of person that she is she will never let go it doesn't matter how many times she's been cancelled or control she's going to control her own narrative she's going to control her own future this is the kind of person that she is um i don't think she's going to go mia i think she's been a little bit too quiet uh when she got cancelled i think she thought she could come back and um you know it'd be all okay like i said i do believe there's some sort of agreement that they both have to see each other out netflix slash her once that's done i think this is where she's going she's dealing with some sort of foreign foreign person um foreign occupation it, it it's a strong word um it really is a strong word but it looks like it's got palaces in the back so one has to wonder if she's going to team up with someone from the palace without dropping any names. Who will that be? Of course, that would be an alleged neighbour. And I'm not talking about this one's wife. But you know what? Never say never. Never say never. Right. Urgent act now. So this card wants to be read again to find out with some sort of military action, pandemic health crisis, prepare to stock up, Oops, mosquito airborne. Volcano mountains, new rules, policies and laws. I think she might be shifting. 
I think with this fine occupation, I think she might be shifting. I think she might be heading for the hills, literally. There's a couple that I do believe that are looking as um, they've got their time. They've got time because I don't think anything's going to be heard uh, in court until May. They have got time. Um, but I really do think that she's going to um, double down and go into survival mode uh, with these cards coming up and she's actually preparing still going to be doing business but possibly overseas some sort of country that probably doesn't really care that much on on what us and and the western media is uh, talking about i don't know why but i get an extremely strong feeling on the european side of things uh somewhere where there's uh, mountains well that doesn't surprise me because um you know she lives where she lives now in melodrama cedo there's mountains around there i think that's probably um she feels safer with the mountains maybe she feels that you know she's got some sort of protection with the mountains there uh, not everyone can get into where she's going to be uh, she can see them coming um this is all stuff that i'm drawing out now but the fact that we've got new rules and new uh, policies and law and, of course, uh, mosquito airborne, somewhere possibly where uh, malaria can be, you know, uh, be bitten by a mosquito or something in the air kind of thing, um, that, that may or may not be Europe, but it was a card behind that I was me meant to be seen for a reason. Uh, I think, like I said, she's waiting, but the cards here are indicating that she probably needs to act now. Uh, so what's actually happened? I think she's in very, very deep, very, very deep, and she's just waiting, or she's got plans, allegedly entertainment purposes only, to change, to change the narrative, to control the narrative, to take a... We had a uh, train here... Uh, going back further as well, trying to transport the lights, the dog, everything like that started, you know, carrying on. Um, I move on from those kind of things. It's too dark and that's not for me. This is a prediction on, on what's happening with her. It's not for me to determine what kind of thing she's been up to, what she knows and, and whatever. That That's up to the feds uh this is only a prediction on what's happening um she is well and truly aware of what happened allegedly entertainment purposes only so that possibly therefore confirms that there is plan that she is going to actually uh make a decision and um yeah head for the hills literally i'm still getting a very very strong feeling of europe here i don't know why um but I think there is, with the um, palace here, a foreign occupation. I don't think she'd be welcomed in the UK, but uh, in that's probably where I'm going with Europe. There's lots and lots of castles, you know, somewhere along like Romania or somewhere like that. There's there's lots and lots and lots of castles in, um, in Europe, and I have a feeling that um, to, you know, stop this mainstream media and everything and to control her narrative she's um yeah basically preparing now she is waiting but she's preparing now um so it will be interesting this is not the kind of person i like to read on anyway but i did get a request and it will cross over into my true crime tarot i'm probably more interested in that one um than than what's going to happen with this one uh like i said she's not a fan uh her energies um it was pretty obvious that um all is not what it was what she was portraying on tv i got that many many years ago and uh, the reason why i'm not a fan of hers um then she hooked up with an australian so of course at the time she hit the news for a little while over here uh, but yeah, none of us are interested. None of us. Yeah, she's she's she doesn't have a strong fan base over here, and that suits me. Um, but to that viewer, thank you, thank you very much for asking, because um, it did open another section of the Diddy files that are associated, and it's not just the hip hop music. His um, web goes extremely, extremely long, and as my um, little advert 
before I open this uh, playlist. We've now got a purple circle. There's politicians and, and household names. And, uh, yeah, one celebrity at a time. So because I'm not a fan of hers and because I don't follow her, I'm always open to the comments. So, yeah, um, for anyone who would like to put down in the comments what they they know or they see any sort of thing about her, um, uh, short of all the yucky stuff that we've already seen, yucky stuff here that's been confirmed. And, um, yeah, I hope you can follow me over if you're not interested in raw readings in between. Um, I hope you can follow me over on Wednesday for a true crime tarot night. I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Oh,